Hey, Brooks, it was a hot day across the valley today, and this is something we're going to see a lot of in the days ahead. We do not see any kind of a cool down anytime soon. Temperatures right now 86 in McAllen, 82 in Harlingen and Raymondville, 84 Brownsville and Port Isabel, 85 in Edinburgh and Rio Grande City. Our low temperatures tonight, upper 70. Some places might not drop below 80, especially right at the coast, about 81 at the island. So a warm and muggy night across the area. And then tomorrow, Right back where we were today, plus a degree or two. About 100 in Westlaco, 101 Edinburgh, 102 in McAllen. Rio should hit about 104. And the island tops out at about 89 degrees tomorrow. Humidity is a little higher there, so it feels just as warm. The normal high for this time of year is 96. So we're going to be above that for the next three days. We're probably going to be above that for the next 10 days. We don't see any big changes coming anytime soon. Satellite, and this is the high resolution version. It's GOES 16. It doesn't show much. Some patchy clouds coming into Kennedy County tonight, but that's about it. And overnight, just patchy clouds, nothing more than that. And then tomorrow afternoon, back to mostly sunny skies again. And with that, temperatures off to the races. We go to Thursday, same thing. Maybe some patchy clouds in the morning, but not much. And by afternoon, sunshine takes over, and we do it again on Friday. I think we just see a lot of sunshine, a lot of heat. We do have to deal with a little bit of that Sahara dust still. It is still out there, but not quite as thick as it was when that cloud first came in Sunday into Monday. Rain-wise, we see none. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, we just stay dry. There is some good moisture in Louisiana, the northern Gulf of Mexico, but all that's going to stay over there. Texas is quiet. It's probably going to stay that way. Dry weather in the state. There's a big ridge in the upper atmosphere way up there, and that ridge is going to build into Texas. And when that gets closer to us, it dries us out even more, especially in the mid and upper levels of the atmosphere, and it makes it hotter as that high builds into Texas. So by the time we get into Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, temperatures probably go up even more across the area. So the heat is really just getting started. Tropically, you know, that's where we look for stuff to come from this time of year, and there's absolutely nothing from here to Africa. It's about as quiet as it can be. For late July, that's a different sign. Here's a look at what's going on at the coast. Winds are out of the south, southeast 10 to 18. Three tides starting with a low just after 1 a.m. and then two more tides are 1 to 3 feet. Seas rather are 1 to 3 feet. So for tonight, 78 for your low, partly cloudy, breezy, warm, humid, southeast winds. Tomorrow back up to 100, plenty of sunshine. Hazy conditions again with a little bit of that dust mixed in. It's hot and it's breezy. Southeast winds at about 10 to 18. So we hold at 100 Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday as well. And we go up a degree or two for Sunday, Monday, Tuesday as that high builds in on top of Texas. That warms it up just a little bit more. But we see no rain the next seven days. I don't think we see rain at least the next 10 days. We'll take a look at that 10-day forecast on Channel 5 News at 1030. That's your updated First One 5 forecast. Joel.